Bismillah. In this problem, <clears throat> we have when the gear rotates 20 revolutions, it achieves an angular velocity of omega, which is angular velocity equal to 30 radian per second, starting from rest. Determine its constant angular acceleration and the time required. So first thing, let's write what is given to us. Here we have a gear that rotates 20 revolutions. 20 revolutions is the angular displacement or the angular position. 20 revolution. Now we can convert this to radians. Now we know that one revolution completes one cycle and one cycle is 2 pi radian. So a revolution will cancel with a revolution. 20 times 2 is 40. So 40 pi and the units in radian. Next it says it achieves an angular velocity of omega 30 radian per second starting from rest. So starting from rest mean that omega initial equal to zero and omega final it achieved 30 radian per second. Here we are asked to find what? We are asked to find the constant constant angular acceleration. When we are asked to find the constant angular acceleration, which is the alpha, sub c, and we are asked to find the time required. So we want to know when this gear starts rotating, when it rotates 40 pi radian, how, how long it took for it to rotate that distance or that amount. So since we are dealing with constant angular acceleration, we will use the constant angular acceleration equations of motion. These are the equations that we can use to solve this problem. All right, so let's take a look at the first problem, uh, the, the first equation. Here we have the final omega, initial omega, but we have two unknowns, the constant angular acceleration and the time. So this will not work. The, the second equation, we have the final position, we have the initial position, we have the initial velocity. Again, we have two unknowns in here. So this one will not work. The third and final one, we have the final omega, initial omega, we want to find the constant acceleration and we have the displacement. It starts at zero and here let's say so the initial zero the initial position is zero and the final position is 40 pi radian. So this equation we can use it to find the constant acceleration. So let's write it down. Omega final squared equal to omega initial squared plus 2 times the constant angular acceleration times the final position minus the initial position. So here let's solve for the constant angular acceleration. So that will be omega final squared minus omega initial squared divided by 2 times the final position minus the initial position. And that will equal to the constant acceleration. Here, the, f the initial is 0 and the initial position is 0. So this can be simplified. So we can write omega final squared divided by 2 times the final position. Omega, the final, is given to us as 30 radian per second. So 30 squared divided by two times the position we found it 
to be 40 pi radian. So our constant angular acceleration will be 3.58 radian per second. All right, so here we we found the first thing, which is the this one. Next, we want to find the time. So again, let's look at the, these equations. That is, and let's see w which one works. So the first equation, we have the final omega, we have the initial omega. We have the constant angular acceleration. We don't, we don't have time. We can use this equation to find time. So omega, omega final equal omega initial plus constant angular acceleration times time. Here we will solve for time. So it will be omega final minus omega initial divided by constant angular acceleration equal to time. So here, time will equal to, now remember, the initial, we start from rest, will be zero. We are given that the final is 30 divided by the constant angular of acceleration that we found, which is 3.58, and that will equal to 8.58. 38 second. Thank you very much. Have a good day.